Good morning everybody and welcome back to Visit File Coast and today we've actually managed to get access to the tower. It's a cracking morning. It's just a shame it's a little bit hazy so it's obviously going to slightly obscure the view but nonetheless we're going to go inside and we're going to go and take a look around. So National Coast Watch Institute started in 1994 in Cornwall after some of the smaller Coast Guard stations closed and this one opened in 2008 in the old Coast Guard station which you might remember was actually in this building this little building here that's the base of the old station and on our Visit Fleetwood website there is a full article about the station and the, the Russell Tower and the redevelopment of, of this site. So in 2008, the Coast Guard Institute in Fleetwood started here and they moved, they moved into this building in 2013 and there are some public toilets at the other side. So this is the access into the upstairs of the building. And even from here, the view is quite astonishing. It's quite early in the morning at the moment. It's a lovely, lovely day. And the view over the, the estuary is just amazing. In fact, Hesham's just starting to come into view. It's a shame it's a little bit hazy. So the door directly underneath here leads into the ground floor of the tower. And this is where the wire ranges um hang out shall we say so if you're coming um walking on the seafront usually this it's all been cleared out because of coronavirus but usually this has got leaflets and shells and things that people have picked up on the beach and the open staircase goes up into the top of the building and we're going to go and take a look around and we're going to go and see see what we can see 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 so this is the first floor which is the bird watching room um at the moment the tower isn't open because of coronavirus restrictions but normally this is open when the, the place is open so there's some information there about different birds and um which ones you're looking at because that to me i mean if we just just go back to that to me, they all look so similar, especially when you're looking at them from a distance. And this is the view, so you can bring your own binoculars and you can stand in here and you can watch over the bay and, and look to see what, what there is. And again, all the leaflets and everything have all been moved. There's some hand sanitizer as well for you to use. So we're gonna go into the course watch room now, which is the one on the second floor. And as this banner stand says, they are the eyes along the coast. So they've got 46 volunteers and seven trainees. They operate seven days a week, 365 days of the year. And they cover six to eight hours a day, depending on season and weather. So this is, this is their operating place. So they provide the eyes and ears of the Coast Guard for vulnerable seaside activities. So people that are out kayaking or sailing small boats or kite surfing or walking or all the things that we all love to do on a beach. If you're on Fleetwood Beach and you've got yourself into difficulty, these guys from up here can watch and see whether or not you're in difficulty. That doesn't mean that you can go out on the beach and get into difficulty. You still need to take care, but accidents do, do happen. And look at the beach as well. We've just been saying that the beach is like the surface of the moon. And it's been a bit windy this weekend, but it's not been that bad. And the, the sea, the seabed is just, 
well up and down like the surface of the moon so you can see how you could easily get into trouble on that so in here you can see that they've got all the kit that they need they've got the binoculars and the um i just said i could do with one of these this is a um i'm not quite sure what they said it was is it a, did you call it a poseidon polaris polaris, polaris not poseidon I'm in an adventure. So you get your um, target lined up in between those two prongs and then you can twist it round and get the compass bearing of wherever somebody is that's in difficulty. And I've just said with my knowledge of um, East and West, I think I could do with one of them around my neck. So they've got all the, all the kit that they could possibly need. This is one of the... This is Martin, the station manager, um, and this is one of the volunteers. Bill. This is Bill. Um, and this is all the information that they've got access to. So that's the weather monitoring information. And that's a map of the area with all the um, radio Radar. channels below it. So there's a link to the Coast Guard and the link to the private priv private radio station and a link to a, a general one so just in the last well in the last six months there have been a dozen incidents but bear in mind four of those months they've been closed and NCI is assessed every year <coughs> in order to be part of a formal part of the search and rescue team so they are they are an official part of the um, Coast Guard team. And this is the only one in the North West. The nearest one to this is Landudno. In total, there are 52 stations across the country with 2,600 volunteers. And the average age of them is 69. And this is the observation deck at the top. This is where I've been trying to get for the last few weeks. As I said, don't forget that the tower is closed at the moment, so before you travel to come and have a look at this splendid view, you need to um, check first and make sure it's open. Please do not travel and then blame me. So that cream stripe that you can see in the distance, that's the new Russell Sea Wall. And then panning round, I believe, that that kink in the seawall right there is the official Russell Point. And you can see why, because it's a point. Boom, boom. And you can see all the birds on the, the sandbanks. Can you see up, up there, they're all, they're all um, roasting on the sand where the, the, the banks are. So this weekend we've had a really big tidal range. It's been a, a, a 10 plus metre range. And the sea has actually, I think, started to come in a little bit since I first arrived this morning. But it's gone out such a long way. And when you think all that water is got, going to come back in, and it's going to come back in incredibly quickly. And it actually comes in here faster than most horses can gallop so that gives you some idea why you should never go out walking on there and just set off and, and walk as far as you want to walk because that's how you get stuck and in trouble you can just see why a light falling over and you see it right there right in the middle it's a bit hazy unfortunately um, which is a shame because the the view on a clear day it might it might burn off later but the view on a clear day is amazing and round about center shot right at the moment is Hesham power station which is just starting to appear out of the mist but it's not clear enough for me to be able to point out the view and this is Fleetwood golf course and the esplanade and you can just see the boating lake there the bridge over the middle and then the the dome of the marine hall so on this building, there's, as I said, the weather station, which is that centre one with the wind 
speed gauge on the top and that at its left that's turning round is a webcam that produces a view downstairs in the, the ranger's room. And then when you do when you do come upstairs and, and it's open and you take a look, it gives you a, a panorama of what it is that you're actually looking at on this picture. So that's quite useful if you're if, if you're as bad as I am and you keep getting things wrong. So this takes you from Walney Island through the hills of the Lake District. So there might be some names there that you're familiar with. Um, Shapfells, quite a lot of the stone from for the Russell Coastal Defence Scheme came from Shap and then Heesham is the power station which is kind of well sort of there-ish at the moment and then this one takes you through the view to match the view that you can see in front of you so you can see Lancaster University on a clear day. Interesting. Beacon fell. So as I said, there's a full article on the Visit Fleetwood website about Russell Coastal Tower, Russell Coast Watch Tower even. Um, and photographs of it of the old tower before it was demolished and and rebuilt so don't forget to subscribe for the visit Falk coast youtube channel and then when we upload new videos and explore other places you'll be able to take a look straight away when you get the notifications and don't forget to sign up for your weekly email newsletter as well and Tell all your friends. That's important. Tell all your friends. Tell everybody that you know that they need to subscribe to this super duper channel. You'll have a lovely day now. See you later. Bye.